Hey, poker people. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to compare the equities of two different ranges utilizing Flopzilla and Hold EQ. Alrighty, let's compare some ranges. So let's say you're working on your preflop calling ranges and you want to devise a good calling range on the button versus a cutoff open raise. Now, your standard open raises out of the cutoff is about 20% or so. And here's a range of hands that comprises the 20%. I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. So some different uh, potential button calling ranges are right down here, 7.5, 9.4, and 11.5%. And I'll show you what all these ranges look like in a second. I know that just reading this out, reading this doesn't really help you to visualize it, but I'll show you what that looks like utilizing a program that I really love called Hold EQ. Now, this is a companion software to Flopzilla. As soon as you buy, buy Flopzilla, you have access to this. You can download it and use it as well. And I'll show you how it works in just a sec. Um, with in conjunction with Flopzilla. But as a software by itself, it's just like any other range building, range equity, hand versus range, range versus range, equity calculating kind of software. What you do is you enter in a range of hands and you can you know, copy a text output range of hands like this, control V to paste it in, then you have your range. Once you click on this, you could see what that range looks like. So you could also do just a standard, whoops, uh, meant to hit clear. You could just do a standard range building where you just add hands to the range and then bam, there they are for you. Let's put that range back in so we can see what it looks like. This is a standard 20% cutoff open raising ranges. Some players open all the aces and they might not open some of these suited connectors and stuff. Um, just depends on the player, but this is kind of your standard 20% open raising range. Now let's compare this range to a 7.5% calling range. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, um, and we can see what that looks like. With this kind of calling range, it's pretty obvious we have a decently wide three betting range, three betting for value range with ace queen or better and pocket tens or better right there. Let's see what the equity is of our calling range versus our opponent's open raising range, 48.5%. So let's put that in here, 48.5. Now what we can do is copy and paste all of the rest of these ranges in as well. And uh, just to compare ranges of our calling ranges, or I'm sorry, to compare equities of the various calling ranges versus the open raising range. But what I really like to do and what this software is built for is uh, working in conjunction with Flopzilla. So let me show you what that looks like. Once you have two Flopzilla windows open, you take this, this little um, like Wi-Fi looking uh, symbol, you click on that. Now you can see what it says right there, mouse over the Flopzilla window that you wanna connect to. Bam, and you can see it's now connected. So if we pick pocket jacks, pocket jack shows up. Let's choose a whole range of middle pocket pairs. Bam, jacks through sevens, they're there. What we'll do is for the same thing on the second one, plug it in here, or connect it, I should say. And now let's compare maybe calling some suited kings versus those pocket pairs. You can see that suited king range only has 37% equity. Now, the great thing about this is you never have to hit calculate once the two windows are connected. As we're building ranges, uh, yeah, I think we'll, yeah, we'll be able to see it. 37.3%. Let's just start adding hands. 38.6, 38.8, uh, 39.5. What if we have pocket aces in our range? 47.5. So you can see as, you'll, as you're building this range with Flopzilla, no need to hit calculate. Just bam, bam, bam. It just does it for you right there as you build out the range. So let's clear this. Disappears. Good. Clear that. Disappears. Let's go ahead and put our 20% calling range in here. So the exact same range that we just saw on hold EQ is now in Flopzilla and they're connected. Now let's choose the same 7.5%. Put it in this bad boy. And bam, same calling range right there. Tens or better are three bet hands. Ace queen or better also. And then 48.5, the exact same percentage. So you can see the programming works for this exactly the same if you're doing something in hold EQ or Flopzilla, you'll get the exact same equities. So that's a, that is this calling range with a wider three betting range. What about this 9.4% range? What kind of equity does it have versus the 20% calling range? 47.4%, okay. And then, um, so now that we saw that, we can kind of, let's guesstimate, not guesstimate, I'm sorry. Let's reason out why, right? So this range, of course, has the exact same three betting range, but as you can see, um, oops, sorry. 
but as you can see it has a lot more of the uh, suited connectors and stuff in it so it is a it is a wider range at 9.4 percent but it definitely has a lot more of these weaker suited connectors that are uh, that are equity dogs to this pocket pair heavy and strong ace heavy range right here let's take a look at the, what that 7.5 percent range looked like one more time just so we can, can get another visual on it Bam, so you can see all of those hands disappeared out of the 7.5%. Same three bending range, um, but more connectors added or more suited hands added to it. Now, let's compare this 11.5% range. Now, the interesting thing about this range is that it is a much tighter three bedding range. We're only three bedding queens or greater and ace king, which gives us the ace queen and the jacks or tens in this calling range right here. So it's a pretty strong calling range, but we do have a lot of those suited, uh, so those suited hands added back to it. So once we input this range, we now have 49.7%. Pretty nice right there. So let's say you uh, found preflop calling ranges from three different coaches out there. One of them recommended 7.5, one 9.4, and the other one 11.5. Now that you know how to compare ranges uh, utilizing Flopzilla and Whole DQ, you can see which ones actually make more sense to you. Um, now, not I shouldn't say make more sense, which ones seem more appealing for you to use? You might be kind of a tighter player on the tighter side. You might want to three bet more for value uh, with stronger hands as opposed to the wider ranges that we had on those other ones, right? Or you might be the kind of player that uh, loves three betting. So you're going to add those to your three bet range. You also like ace jack as a three bet and a king queen is a three bet range. So you can tweak the ranges that these coaches gave you and see what the equities are. Wow, this new range, 8.8%. Let's actually attack this one in. We actually have 47.2%. Now you can see that is the lowest of all of them um, because we removed some of the stronger uh, starting hands from the calling range. But if this does appeal to you, if you like to three bet more, then this might be just a fine, just a good enough equity for you to have. There's no problems with that at all. Now the question becomes, what do we do with this information? We see the various ranges, we've seen what they look like, and we've compared these ranges versus the cutoff open raising range of 20%, and we've seen their equities. So where do we go with this information now? Now this next step is totally up to you. I'm not gonna tell you that there's a right way or the, a wrong way to pick your ranges that you'll utilize in game. You could just look at these and say, hey, I'm gonna go with the highest equity one. Right, or you can look at these and say, you know, I want to keep my three bet ranges big, so I'm going to go to the go with the highest equity one that keeps my three range big, which would be this one right here. I mean, it's totally up to you how you do it. Um, let's just say between these two, there's really not much difference, and you're putting yourself at a big disadvantage between these two. So let's say um, that this one, okay, let's say that this. And this, there we go. That's the best way to highlight them. Let's say that these two are the really are really the two that you're really considering using, right? Well, then what I would recommend is to spend one entire week using that 7.5% range. See how it works for you. See how profitable you are. See how comfortable you are with this range. Because of course, it's a wider three betting for value range and a decently wide calling range as well. Um, not too wide, but decent. Now, the 11.5% range, you've shrunk in your three bet range. Try this one for the next week and see how you like playing with a restricted three bet value range. And if you don't like it, if you find yourself wanting to three bet quite a bit more with the king queen and the ace jack type hands, then yeah, switch to the other one and go wider. You know, that's totally up to you. But what I recommend is choosing between different ranges, which ones seem most appealing, and then putting them into play. Because you're really not gonna get a feel and not gonna understand how how these ranges work for you and your play style until you actually practice with them so don't just take like if these were four ranges from different coaches you don't want to just look at them and say ah oh, this looks best I'm gonna go with it no test them out even tweak them yourself right let's say this range let's say after a week of testing this one and a week of testing this one you really like this one but there are some aspects of it that you would like to change right let's put this range in again now, you really like all these three betting hands. You're happy with three betting these. You're really comfortable three betting these against uh, cutoff opens. But, you know, you also see a lot of value and merit in three betting the king queen suited. 
great. But you also like to call with king 10 suited because your cutoff openers are opening, maybe they're opening with every single king in their range. Maybe it's slightly different from this range and they're actually opening all of this. So now throw in the king 10 as a calling hand as well and then open that king queen up for three betting right here. Now this is 7.5, same, uh, same percentage because we uh, removed a suited connector, added a suited, suited double gapper, same exact percentage, but maybe this one's more appealing to you. Maybe you like to call with some more suited connectors a little bit more. Now it's 8.1%. Give this a shot for an entire week. Try it out. Actually, let's see what the equity is here for 48.9%. Pretty darn close to these two. You know, things are looking good. Maybe this is a range that you're more comfortable with. So now it's time to put it into action, try it out for an entire week, or maybe even 10,000 hands or more to get a really good feel for it. Alrighty, well, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. Of course, the best way to do that is to hit that subscribe button down below and then ding that bell so that you receive notifications every time a new YouTube video hits the airwaves. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.